Good. So for number seven on page 107, uh, what I want to do is, again, just kind of go back through, because I know it's been a day that we've worked on this last time, Trevor. So I just want to kind of go back through and remind you guys on what exactly we're doing. So last class period, we did one through eight and um, one through nine. So what we're going to do is let's just go back and review again. So if I have a binomial, right? And now what we're going to do is we're going to factor this. Now before we took monomials and we factored them completely, right? To their linear factor or to their um, linear factors. I'm sorry, to their prime factors. Now what we're going to do when I ask you to factor, pretty much what I want you to do is I want you to write this as a product of two factors, all right? So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to first determine the GCF. All right, if you guys remember, we wrote down these skills. First thing, determine the GCF. Remember, the GCF is the greatest common factor. What factor that both divides into both of my terms? All right, so the first thing we look at is into our T. Do we have a T in both of these terms? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So how many T to what power is the largest power that we can divide into both of them? T. Just T, right? Because you always want to look at the smallest power, and that's going to be obviously the highest one you can divide into it. Yeah. So therefore, t is going to be my first factor. Now I look at my h. Do they share an h? So let's say GCF is going to equal t. Do they both share a t? Or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, an h? No. Do they both share a number? No. So therefore, the greatest common factor is t. All right. So that's the first thing we need to do. The next thing we need to do is divide. Next thing we need to do is divide by our GCF. So I take my whole term and I divide by my GCF. Now remember, we have t squared times h divided by t. How do you really divide this into there? What is this going to look like? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the best way I can do this is if you factor t squared, you get t times t times h divided by t, right? So t times t times h divided by t. t divided by t we know equals 1. So we can say these divide out to equal 1 which are just going to left you with t times h. Okay, So th squared times h divided by t is just going to leave you with th. Then what about 3t? Well, the same thing's going to happen. 3t divided by t, my t's are going to divide into 1. So I'll have plus 3. So when you divide, you find your GCF, you divide by the GCF, and you get th plus 3. It's close. But what this is, is this is a factor, meaning this binomial divides into that binomial. Well, how many times does it divide into there? It divides into there t times. So remember, when we say factor something, when I ask you to factor something, what you're going to do is you need to rewrite your problem as a product of its factors. You need to write it as a product, a multiplication problem. So therefore, this is going to be our final answer. All right? And that's it. Wait, are both of those the final answer?